Okay, so hi everybody, I'm Rüdiger from Actix. Uh, this is a not very technical talk, I just want to talk about uh, what we do at Actix, uh, what we use from IPFS and what our experience are, what works, what doesn't, what works somewhat. Um, okay, IPFS at Actix. Uh, Actix, we put IPFS in production. Uh, when, when we say that, we actually mean it, and I got pictures to prove it. So here we got uh, the first example. What's going on here? <laughs> ah, no, yeah, now I want to go back. Okay, so this is a, a facility for public transport maintenance in Frankfurt, Germany. You have this thing called the shop floor board, which is a very analog thing. Uh, where people coordinate what they need to work on. And in the middle, this is a tablet. I got one here. If you want to know how it works exactly, talk to me later. Uh, where they can basically figure out what they have to work on and uh, track what they're working on and stuff like that. Uh, next thing. Um, <coughs> come on. <laughs> uh, uh, this is, this is a um, scaffolding repair fa factory in in UK. Um, they see a close-up of how these tablets are being mounted in the factory, so it's all very industrial and very ugly, but very solid. Um, and as a last thing, it's one of my favorites. This is a glass manufacturing factory, so whenever you have a drinking glass, it gets manufactured in one of these factories. Uh, these are glowing glass bottles, and what they use the tablet for is to um, optimize the setup process, because these are very complex and very analog machines which they have to set up and it, they need to make the setup process deterministic. Okay, so enough pictures, now there's just boring bullets. Um, so Actix OS, what, what we build all this on is something called Actix OS. It's not really an operating system, but something which you, you might think of as an operating system. It's ca kind of a runtime for writing applications for factories. And the basic idea is this, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. Uh, most applications in, <coughs> come on, in uh, industry, uh, manufacturing industry are on this axis. And this works really well. It's a very simple programming model, but it leads to architectures which look like this. You've got one fat node and lots of clients which talk to the node. I couldn't figure out how to draw the lines, so I left them out, but I think you get the idea. Um, and Actix OS is on the other axis, so we are available and petition tolerant, but not consistent. Obviously, you have to have some consistency at some point, so what we're doing is eventual consistency. And this enables us to do architectures like this, which looks much nicer and is much more resilient because if a few of them go away, the other can still talk to each other. Okay, so um, what works, what doesn't in IPFS? So this is just my personal opinion. Um, we are building on distributed content rest storage and for us it works pretty well. It doesn't work very well currently at the global scale, but for our little private swarm, it works very well um, for us. Uh, then PubSub works reasonably well, but we had some issues with natural Virgil. Um, private Swarms works really well. It's a really nice, very simple feature, but it's experimental, and we hate to build on experimental features, so I would love to, this thing to become non-experimental. Um, <laughs> Android support. Android support works surprisingly well. We just take the ARM binary and put it on Android, but there are some issues which don't because it's not an Android build, but it's just a normal ARM build. And next thing, IPNS, for us, it doesn't work at all. We tried and tried and tried, and now we just do use DNS link. So I, I won't try it again until somebody really convinces me that this time it will work. Um, perf and resource usage is, could be better, but we see a trend in the right direction, let's put it that way. Now, I got a wish list. Uh, okay, we are very grateful for what Protocol Labs does for us, but nevertheless, I got a wish list. So wish list, um, basic inter abstractions like distributed content storage pops up and IPNS, they just have to work. You need to rely on them just like you rely on CAT and some Unix tools. Currently that's not the case. Um, they have got to have high performance. High performance, what do I mean by high performance? Within a factor of two of what's physically possible. That's what I would consider high performance. So if you have two nodes and you want to copy data from A to B, it should be half as fast as uh, the wire allows. That's fine. I mean, I accept this overhead, but it should not be a factor of 10 slower than physically possible. Next thing, officially supported Rust IPFS. We're currently writing stuff in Rust because we need the performance. And it would be really great if you could integrate IPFS in the same process instead of talking to it via HTTP. And last thing, please, there seems to be a tendency to make things, makes very, very complex things 
which uh, are very nice, amazing concepts, but it's cool, but please first make the basics work well. I mean, okay, you can, it's always fun to write these spaced out projects, but for us that work this, use this stuff in production, it's really important that the basics work like, like, yeah, you know, like these solid Unix tools that we all rely on every single day. Um, and that, that's, that's the end of my talk. I did not expand my time, so that's good, I guess. Thank you. Thank you.